Greetings, one and all two universes! In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters, and make your predictions down in the comment section below or a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Croc, hero of the Gobos, and Banjo, gaming's favorite bear. The two 3D platforming collectathon protagonists who wear backpacks, have bird companions, and speak with text bubbles and weird grunting sounds. Yeah, these two are stupidly similar. Surprisingly though, Croc actually came first, but the original isn't always the best. So let's find out who really deserves the win. This is Universes. Parents are great. They feed you, clothe you, wash you, and just overall take good care of you. Unless you're Croc's parents, nope. When you're Croc's parents, you'll run like a coward at the sight of the big bad bear and Dante and leave your son behind. Abandoned as a child, Croc was soon found by a magical bird named Beanie who would put him in a basket and send him off to Gobo Valley where he would hopefully be safe. Everything seemed to be great at first. He learned how to walk and run, how to fight, and how to hit instant puberty. But that all changed once the evil bear and Dante managed to find his way to Croc's little sanctuary. Beanie got Croc out of there safe from harm, but the Gobos weren't so lucky. The the king of the Gobos and all of his subjects were captured and it was up to Croc to go back and save them all. He was able to defeat and seal up Baron Dante for good, reuniting with his terrible family and living happily ever after. So how'd he do it? With an arsenal of special moves of course. Like I mentioned earlier, Croc learned how to walk and run. So why make a big deal out of it? That's something nearly everyone can do. Well, as it turns out, Croc is actually quite good at this. He's so agile that he can instantly change directions with a quick backflip. He can climb and hop on just about anything and even find secret entrances with a ground pound. With this ground pound, he can smash just about anything, even large wooden crates. But if he's running low on time and needs a quick attack, he can simply use the tail whip. And with all these special skills, Croc actually has the ability to reverse magical spells. He can reduce Dante's self-created minions to magical sparkles, and he can remove the magic spells Dante places on bosses. Aside from these special moves, Croc also has some items. The Clockwork Gobo can reach places that Croc can't, the binoculars help him see better, and he has a backpack full of delicious candy. Or you could just call them gummy saver jumps to be specific. These delicious fruit snacks add an extra bounce to Croc's jumps, allowing him to reach much higher places. With all of these abilities, and items, Croc is able to defeat plenty of powerful foes. He defeated Baron Dante multiple times, a guy who's tough enough to survive a fall from the peak of a mountain above the clouds. Croc is fast enough to dodge cannonballs, shockwaves, and all other kinds of speedy projectiles. He defeated a boxing ladybug that was so strong it could shake a gigantic boxing ring with its punches, he defeated a man strapped to a rocket, and he defeated a big fat cactus monster that could fire needles like a machine gun. He can push gigantic solid blocks several times his size, and he can smash through gigantic stone block Pillars. Now those are some strong feet. Croc can survive long falls, a little bounce in lava, and he's always ready to save a little gobo in need. But he could always get some help from his little bird companion, Beanie, who can fly Croc up a castle or just flat out teleport him. But let's see if Banjo and Kazooie have the right stuff to take down this dynamic duo. Beauty can be a wonderful thing. It can melt the heart, be candy to the eyes, and even get you a free drink. Am I right, ladies? But beauty can also be dangerous, as Banjo's younger sister Tootie would soon find out. The evil, wicked witch Gruntilda was getting quite up there in age and wasn't the most pleasing thing to look at. As such, she invented a device that could suck the youth of others and give it to herself for immeasurable beauty. And her first target? Little Tootie herself. 
Ugh, that's actually kind of creepy. She's just a child, and Gruntilda found her attractive enough for her machine. What were you thinking when you made this plot, Rayer? Anyways, Gruntilda swooped down and kidnapped Tootie for her machine. It wasn't long before Kazooie heard all the noise and woke up Banjo so the two could go save her. And they did so by collecting music notes and puzzle pieces. Yeah, that'll save her. Nah, I'm only kidding. The big old bear did a good job. He's pretty tough. He can roll into enemies or slam on the ground. He's definitely a good fighter, but he's not complete without his little bird companion, Kazooie. This little red bird will even try to take the lead sometimes while running around with Banjo on her back for extra speed. <laughs> nice. What sense does that make? The little bird hauling around the large bear is faster than the large bear carrying around the little bird. Anyways, Kazooie is also able to dash up steep slopes that Banjo can't climb himself, and she can even wear boots temporarily for extra speed. And as a bird, Kazooie is also able to fly, as long as she has some feathers, she can also perform some special attacks while in the air. She can gain altitude and dive bomb, and she can even fight underwater with the Talon Torpedo. And last but not least are the eggs Kazooie can fire. She can either drop them or shoot them out of her beak. Banjo can even hold and aim her like a gun. However, the amount of eggs and feathers these two can hold is limited, so they do need to be careful. When their inventory is full, though, these two can do plenty of damage. They're able to destroy some of the solid rock body parts of old King Cole. They're able to defeat Konga the ape, a giant gorilla the size of King Kong himself, Nippers the giant crab, and even an angry anglerfish. They even defeated Kunglo, who can shake an entire mountain with his punches alone. They even fought an inflatable balloon man and an oversized vacuum cleaner. Wow, these guys have fought some weird bosses. Anyways, they've even taken on the evil wicked witch Gruntilda herself and defeated her twice! The first time with some good old-fashioned combat and knocking her out of the sky. They were able to knock her down several miles to the ground below her lair, yet that still wasn't enough to kill her for good. She came back as a skeleton witch, and Banjo and Kazooie now had to defeat her by answering trivia questions. Hey, 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 it's a lot more fun than it sounds. But I don't think simply answering trivia questions will be enough to save them from Croc. Let's see if their arsenal is good enough. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. <laughs> Corn O'Keefe here, guys. Bring you my next universe's prediction. We got a collab with Mega Paul. It's Croc versus Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie, folks. Croc versus Banjo Kazooie. We'll start off with Mega Paul. Who's Banjo? Who does Banjo? Who's his main antagonist, Paul? A witch, Gruntilda or something of the sort. A witch, huh? Yes, a witch, Gruntilda or something like that. And then we got Croc, whose main antagonist is a some demon. Some sort of demon. Some sort of demon life form. So, yeah. what's your observation on the matter? Well, being completely honest, I don't know very much about both of the characters, but I know I've heard of the characters, and I know that uh, Banjo is a Nintendo character, and uh, Croc is some... Uh, a Sony, different, maybe? A different company character. I think Sony's. I think it's Sony. Something like that. Um... But, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if they're using Banjo and Kazooie, because it's different, because it, at the end of Banjo and Kazooie, they both take down the witch, end up defeating her, so, I mean, if it's just Banjo by himself, he might not be able to defeat that witch as easily if he, as, as if he was with Kazooie. Kazooie. Um, but Banjo and Kazooie can, together can take down a witch, now Croc, the main antagonist, was a, a demon, I don't know if he defeats the demon at the end, but probably seeing as, you know, it's an old video game, so, um, I'd say Croc's gonna win because I'd say a demon is stronger than a witch, and so someone that can defeat a demon is gonna be a little bit stronger than someone that can defeat a witch. Because you gotta think, witches because actually worship demons in most cases. It, yeah, or something of a sort. It, it also depends on what lore of demons and witches you're thinking about, too, but in most cases, a demon would be stronger than a witch. Yeah. In most cases. So, uh, for so far, we're going with Croc. Uh -huh. Simple fact, we've, we, we, we believe he's sticking on a more potent opponent, so to speak. I'm thinking they both got a lot of stamina in their own right. A lot of stamina. Well, when you go with the old... Um, they both fight supernatural foes, so to speak. When you're talking about old video games, there's something they got. I wouldn't say it's full-on Toon Course, but it's similar to it. I would almost call it like old game Force or something like that. It's really yeah, like Mario bit, kind of stuff. It sounds a little like, bit dumb, but it's like it's reality like, warping kind of stuff, like yeah, a, exactly. original. So, yeah. And you know, the only only advantage I, from what I know, and I really don't know much, I would give the 
Banjo and Kazooie is the fact that they're Nintendo. And I know Nintendo characters tend to have crazy feats, crazy stuff, they crazy durability, especially like Mario and Wario. They got crazy durability feats and stuff. So <laughs> you know, I'd say that's probably the only thing Banjo's got going for him is the durability and stuff like that. But who knows? I don't know if Croc is just as crazy. I really don't know the games too well, to be honest. So I'm just going off of my own analysis, my own observation, my own. Um, not you know, not very informed opinion, you know. So, but, um, but you know, so from what I know, that's what I say. So, what we, from what we understand, we're going with Croc all the way, folks. We think he can take more of a powerhouse down. Probably got a little more stamina. From what we know, they got a lot of similarities. But are we going with Croc all the way, Mega Paul? Yes, unless there's some kind of loophole in. Uh, not even loophole. If, there, if there's something that you could find in Banjo's uh, durability, an arsenal and all that kind in, of thing. Dur- yeah, I'd say especially in his durability, because he might have that Nintendo durability and just end up winning because of that sheer durability and being on the same level with everything else. Well, as always, have a good one, y'all. Shout out to the wrestler four five six, Leopold the Brave. You're a badass. Shout out to you. Universe is rocks. Me and Mega Paul enjoy it. Peace. What's up, my dudes? Wrestler four five six here, back with yet another universe's prediction. Croc, I believe his name is from Legend of the Goblins versus Banjo Kazooie. Uh, honestly, I feel like this fight really depends on if it's just Banjo by himself or if he has Kazooie with him. If it's Banjo and Kazooie, they win automatically. Their arsenal. I don't just don't feel like Croc can handle that. But if it's just Banjo with his with his like one weapon that wrench thing, uh, then I I feel like Croc has what it takes to deal with that. But at the end of the day, it, it really does depend on if he's using like both Banjo and Kazooie or just Banjo. If it's just Banjo, then I don't feel like he can beat Croc. But if it's Banjo and Kazooie, they dominate. It's, it's just simple as that. So that's my prediction. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one. Peace out. And the results are in. The winner is... Banjo! Like I said at the beginning, the original isn't always the best, and the iconic Bear and Bird duo took the gold. I have to admit though, this one was pretty tricky for me to find out at first. I was going back and forth in my mind until I started writing the script. Now both Banjo and Croc have faced tough opponents, but the difference is the number of tough opponents. The only real threat Croc has faced is Bear and Dante, while the rest of his enemies are, well... easier than a Sonic game. Meanwhile, this is an everyday thing for Banjo and Kazooie. Old King Cole, Nippers, even their final boss is more tough. I mean, yeah, sure, Baron Dante was tough enough to survive falling off a mountain peak above the clouds, but Gruntilda survived falling off of her lair above the clouds and then getting crushed under tons of rubble. That extra bit of oomph makes all the difference. With Banjo and Kazooie defeating tons more toughies than Croc, with their toughest toughie being tougher than Croc's toughest toughie, they take the edge in strength. Sure, Croc takes the lead in speed with some of the projectiles he can dodge, but it's not nearly enough to make a difference in the outcome. Not to mention, Kazooie's boots can help them run faster, which can likely catch them up to Croc speed. Another problem Croc has is his arsenal of all things. Sure, it may be larger than Banjo and Kazooie's, but none of it but his melee attacks are used for, well, attacking. Gummy jumps, mini gobos, binoculars, how is that in any way going to help him in a fight? Even Croc's bird companion is only good for flying him. Banjo and Kazooie have a way more deadly arsenal, especially when it comes to Kazooie's eggs which can destroy parts of Old King Cole. Sure, the number of eggs and feathers they can hold is limited, but it's by no means a small limit. They can hold over 50 of each. Sure, Croc does have the speed to dodge them, but it's highly unlikely that every single last one of them is going to miss, and when they eventually hit, they're going to hit hard. And last but not least is their teamwork. Despite their conflicting personalities, Banjo and Kazooie would be able to whip up a quick strategy for taking down Croc. Beating more toughies, having a stronger arsenal, and their strengths as a team help them crush Croc. The winner is... Banjo! Get ready for the next battle! What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. 
next time there's not going to be a next time. Or this time. Or whatever. You know what I mean. Um, because I'm going to be taking a tiny break. Because I have been doing this show straight since December. And I'm running a bit on empty energy-wise. Woo! So I'm just going to take a teeny tiny break to come up with more matchups. Do more research, yada yada yada. All that good stuff. I won't be gone for long, just maybe one or two weeks. I'll definitely be back before April, so yeah, it won't be too long. I'm just going to go take a tiny break and relax. I'll be sure to let you know what fight's going to be next before it actually happens, so you can actually make predictions, because the show can't happen without your predictions. <laughs> so, I'm going to take a tiny groovy break, maybe kick back and relax and listen to some Aerosmith or Sticks or something. And yeah, it's going to be good, so... Just tiny break. I'll be back soon. Good day. I said good day. <laughs> so anyway, there's this card man that runs with water. <laughs> <laughs>